what it is guys and we're back with another food review on Elmo's world got some announcements coming up in the next video not this one so gotta stay tuned to find out what they are and today I know a lot of you are wondering why do I do so many food reviews it's because I like to eat I would like to start doing some more home videos but being as I live so far out of town it's hard for me to do a voice or uh, not a voice but a uh, food review at home so i've been kind of trying to figure out ideas that i can do like grocery store items as well or even like you know trying out and unboxing videos and that sort of thing like i do with the snack crate so after uh after today there may be some changes coming to the channel some updates, which I'll get into more about in the next video. And nothing big, nothing big, but you'll see what I mean. Okay. Well, today, I was on the app, the McDonald's app. The, because the apps are basically how I've been starting to keep up with the new food trends of the day. And there was one that came across, and I was like, gotta try it. McDonald's has a new barbecue bacon cheeseburger and I got the double the large double would ended up being like ten dollars rounded up I'm, I'm not going to get into the details of the cents or anything like that but basically I pull up in the drive-thru and of course they had to ask if they could they had it so I was like well maybe it's been out for a while and I haven't seen it apparently it wasn't because I get up to the drive-thru uh the first window the woman says I think that's the first one I've ever sold I was like, oh, well, I was on the app and I seen it. I was like, okay. And she kind of laughed. I was like, so I may be the first person in my town, or at least for that cashier, to have bought this. So that's kind of cool. Fries are on top, as always. And then here's that carton. There it is. Okay. As you can see. Mmm, smells smoky. Uh, double barbecue bacon. Put the tag on it, I guess, so they don't get mixed up with other double quarter pounders and all that other good stuff. Whoa. The bacon already flying off the top. Crispy, but chewy at the same time, the way I like it. And, uh, fried onions. The only thing I don't like about McDonald's is they seem to be very skimpy on the barbecue sauce. Like, they put a dollop on it and then stick the bacon to it so it's hidden. Because, see, there's not much on it at all. It's like, like, come on, McDonald's. And they did not put any on the bottom or in between. It's just cheese, looks like. But, you know, it may be a good barbecue sauce. <laughs> bacon's crumbling everywhere. No, bacon's good. Bacon. <laughs> All right. <laughs> There's some of the fried onions. This place thing's falling all over the place. Eat, eat with napkins. You know what? I'll be honest with you. Since, um, since McDonald's got basically showed up by Wendy's in the Twitter war, they have made this move to go to fresh, never frozen beef. Which I can't say I blame them. Because their burgers... Now, I don't know if they do it for all burgers. I think it's just their like mainline like quarter pounders and stuff. But their burgers have increased quality majorly. The only problem I see is, is there's no pre-cooking. So it, you, there is a tendency to have a... How do I say this? Pinkish middle... Which I know freaks some people out. They're like, oh my god, my hamburger's got a pink middle. What am I going to do? It's okay, folks. It's beef. As long as it's beef, you're good. Pork, chicken, I wouldn't eat it. But beef, you're good. Tuna, actually, you're good. Duck, you're good. Anyway, that's a whole different subject. But this burger, 
that barbecue sauce is playing through really, really nicely. And then you got got the there's no pickles on it. That's the only thing I wish they would have put on there. Is maybe a pickle or two to kind of cut the fat of the burger, the acidity in it, the sourness. It kind of would just even it all out. But that's the only argument I have. Cheese barbecue, it's really good. The the onions they're fried up nicely. So. But this burger does it beautifully. <laughs> like, here's one of the onion pieces. And the breading is good. Flavored nicely. Got a lot of seasoning in it. Probably not 13 herbs and spices, but, you know, it's seasoned good. And overall, it's just a really good burger. So, I mean, that's all I've got for y'all today. So tune in next episode to find out the updates for this channel um share this with all your friends share it on facebook social media wherever you want to and like comment and most importantly subscribe because subscribing and commenting get me into the youtube algorithm so my videos can be posted every Thank y'all. Peace. God bless. I'll see y'all next time.